What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is Mike. What's going on, everybody? Guys, we got a little video here for you. We've been uh, talking to some people, some friends, some loved ones, some zombies, and uh, we've been talking about a possible cure for The Walking Dead. We're, se we're eight seasons in. We've got a lot of stuff going on, and yeah, we've just been uh, getting some feedback on that. So, Mike, what, what, do, what do we want to talk about today? Well, that's right. We got a little bit of a hint in this in this premiere episode from Sadiq, and we talked about it in the, in the uh, discussion video. Uh, and we kind of were jumping around. We got a lot of comments from people, and we are just wondering if there is something that can possibly, potentially, give you a bit of relief from this, this, this infectious bite. Is there a cure of this? And we decided to do a video about it. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're doing. And uh, yes. so we're going to talk. We're, we've got three things that we want to kind of talk about. Uh, the first one is... Uh, what what do we know? What do we know about the Walking Dead virus and how it works? Yes. So uh, we're going to start there. The first thing we do know, Mikey, is that there there's two elements to to what's happening in the apocalypse. The one is that uh, the virus that that turns you is is in everybody. So it's essentially it must have been airborne because everybody has it, right? So whatever pathogen it was, everybody now has this zombie virus, the one that yes. actually brings you back to life. We learned this in the CDC. Um, we saw it happen, you know, essentially in real time on that, you know, footage. And yeah, so that's what we know. The other thing we know is that the the thing that the bite that kills you from the zombie is an infection. Yeah. It's essentially a super version of the of if like if Mike bit me right now, I'd get an <laughs> infection if not treated from, you know, the bite from him because our mouths the are bacteria in filthy the mouth. garbage cans. Exactly. Exactly. Right. So, so those are the those are the two things that we know. Um, now, when Mike Man says, you know, we're talking about a cure, we're not talking about a cure for the zombie virus itself, the thing that reanimates the brain. We're not yes. talking about that. So, from now on in this video, when we say infection, we're going to be talking about the zombie bite. The so, bite. The bite. So, like Mike said, Mike, you know, uh, he, he he mentioned that this in the the last the season the mid season opener that mm -hmm. Sadiq mentions that. You know this over-the-counter like ibuprofen or whatever helped bring down the fever to make them more comfortable. So that got yeah. Mike thinking, that got me thinking, that got everyone thinking: Is there possibly, a, a, you know, a way that we can a, a, cure, a cure? To, yeah, exactly. A cure that that just destroys that bacteria that bites. So it would be an example that instead of with Carl, he gets bit by the the walker. Uh, we know the bacteria will go through the vein, and that's what he dies from. Now, what would be the difference if, say, like just a dog bit you? Obviously, you're not going to die from that. There's There are some uh, medication that you could take. You could take over-the-counter antibiotics. Exactly. Right? So yeah. we were just thinking, and we're wondering, is there something that's out there? Is there something that may have been prescribed for heart attacks or for stroke victims or for anything else out there that that you can consume that that could possibly defeat this bacterial infectious bite and it's it's um it's kind of uh it's kind of interesting to think about that's why we got so many comments about that yeah i think you know it's something that we'd never like really have thought about now i would yeah i would love to, you know we always talk about like the spin-offs and and you know the mm -hmm. sphere of the walking mm -hmm. dead and they don't touch on it either and you know kirkman himself you know, said that he wishes he didn't even do the CDC episode. You know, he was like, that's not, I, 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 I really love the CDC stuff, man. <laughs> no, nah, you know, I, I mean, I, you know, I might as well read the quote now. So I'm talking about, he says, if I had yeah. to do it again, I wouldn't have done the CDC episode. He was telling the Hollywood reporter back in 2014. It's mm -hmm. possible. Uh, it possibly gave away too much information and was such a big change very early on in the series. There yeah. were things in that episode that I think seem very, not much of the walking dead world. So having said all that, he obviously wouldn't do that. But now it's out there. We're talking about it. Who's to say that I would love to see a, a, a even if it's a short series about yeah. people, you know, trying to find a cure using yeah. what they have. Like, I well, mean, yes, about, you know, yeah. the CDC yeah, was, all, was sorry, but, you know, it was know. blown up and stuff and, and he lost contact. But, you know, who's to say there aren't others out there doing it? Well, that's what I'm saying. Even if, I mean, listen, there could be a couple different ways that we do get a cure of the actual bite. There could be something, like I said, that's already in this world. There's, there could be some kind of prescriptions that, you know, like I said, could be for one thing, but actually may help. I mean, obviously that would be a process of elimination. Well, that's the thing. Who's, I who's know, doing it? Give, 
I know, I know. I'm just right? saying, just using as as an example. Or in, what if there's something natural? I mean, you don't have an alchemist or somebody that is. Maybe Eugene would be the perfect guy to try to figure out something, right? Right. That's even, you know. Right. Who is doing? Someone needs to be doing this. That's right. We just I mean, don't see it. Will they ever show that? We right? don't see it. And yeah. I think that was a big part of this idea. Um, because like we said several times now, we never heard anyone saying. Yeah, we've never talked about that it. Yeah. Depresses. There's never something that relieves. You know what I mean? That actually seems to work and 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 trigger. And j just like Sadiq being the resident doctor he is, he does have that. That, he's got um, that mindset yeah, of he's went he's been through medical school and this and that so he would be the the right guy right, to yeah. give you a hint about that so i mean we're not seeing that in this world would it be cool if there is time where they can kind of figure out something where you do have this kind of alchemy where you're you're putting things together and you're trying to work on something that can stop that um, infection uh, that yeah. that bite you know what i mean and I, that would be interesting to see, wouldn't it? Wouldn't I, you like to I see? I absolutely. It's something that uh, it changes, you know? dude. It changes the Walking Dead for me. When the I mad think about scientist it, right? kind of a thing. That, yeah, dude. You know, it absolutely changes it. And it's very Game of Thronesy, like Kyburn and and all these yeah, you right. know, these guys that are just um, the, the the cure for the stone skin, right? right? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. yeah, all this kind of stuff. So it's it's very interesting now we had this broken down this video into a couple different ideas obviously with this you know the infectious bite is something different right that's one thing we talked about and the, so the virus that we all have that re reanimates us but you had um another point um another idea right I so think, we'll no, go, go go for it go yeah for we'll it. talk about the virus now we'll talk yeah. about the actual virus so yeah Let's. Is there a way? So I was on Reddit. I was on a lot of you know places like looking and see what other people thought about it and. You know, it's what if there is a way yeah. that you could stop people from turning through mm -hmm. combating the virus? Now, the only way to really combat the virus is, let's say someone on, uh, you know, uh, someone on the Internet was like, well, what if you what if you put something in people's brains that when the heart stopped, it fried their brains? Like, what if someone came up with that thing? you know, in lure of a cure so that, okay, yeah. you know, grandpa's, you know, 89 years old, he has a heart <laughs> attack, he dies in the middle of the night, and instead yeah. of wiping out his whole family because he turned, his heart stops, his brain ends up getting fried or stop or set something, right? I yeah. don't know. And then, that, you know. I think that'd be very difficult, obviously, because you need to surgically kind of implant something. Right, or... so, you know, but, okay, so that's a surgery thing. So, yeah. look, I don't have an answer for this section, like, for this for this particular <laughs> question. I'm going to leave that up to you guys. What's, exactly. like, what are the most creative ways, non-invasive ways that you guys think would be able to stop, you know, keep, keep you know, basically st kill the brain? You know, basically yeah. kill the brain, sever the, the brain stem, something, you know what I mean? Like, like what what kind of fail safe would we be able to in, install in ourselves that would stop that? You know, like right. I said, That's I don't have any idea. other a great idea. I don't have an, an idea myself. <laughs> I mean, it would have to be something kind of surgically implanted. Now, if that's going to take a certain person to be able to do something like that and tons of research and tons of, see, but these are, see, these are the stories, testing, Mikey. These are know? the stories that we don't have in the walking dead because it would be interesting to why see. Why don't we see a mad scientist? You <laughs> right? know, some of these people survive like mm -hmm. billions of people on, on the planet. And you're telling me nobody, they, they didn't survive. Right. You don't think there's someone out in Siberia in a, in a, in a, in a shack in Siberia who's already doing this stuff and like, wasn't around yeah. when the, when the apocalypse hit. You know what I mean? And then now, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's there's, there's got to be tons of stories that yeah. can be done. Like, The Walking Dead doesn't have to end with, with Rick Grimes or, you know, the Clarks over on Fear. You know what I mean? Like, these, you know, this is why I thought Fear was going to be different. Like, they can still, once Fear and, and the, the original Walking Dead are over or nearing it, like, bring out some of these other, go that extra mile. Bring... Just make a mad scientist being like, you know, the, all right. So, you know, Invincible is a comic that Kirkman writes, a superhero comic, yeah. and it just ended. And it's a fantastic comic. I binge read the entire 144 issues. It's in, it's in, it's a fantastic <laughs> comic, go. right? But there in go. that, there's this, there's this young scientist guy. He was a college student, really. Mm. And he was, he was experimenting on, on homeless people 
and stuff, turning them in, like killing them and then turning them into, he called them reanimen. You know what I mean? Okay. Like you, and then, so it's like, it's that type of thing. There's got to be somebody out there that's that's either messing with zombies or, or you know what I mean? And, and, <laughs> I mean, no. you got gl- you got glimpses of that sometimes. You got people that were interested in how long it takes to reanimate, like well, Troy fear and Fear and all this kind of but stuff. They but they weren't scientists. They're just a bunch no, of No, no, I'm just saying, but, know. but just in general, you do right, have so, people that are curious. Right, so where are they are, right? Exactly. Where I are mean, they? Listen, Let's you, see something. Eugene could be that guy. Instead of using his brains for weapons of war by, um, you know, helping Negan... To f- defeat our, yeah, our see, he was just a chemistry guys. he was just a science teacher he doesn't he wasn't really yeah i know i know but for for with the cat with the characters oh you're saying with now, who we have yeah it's a, it'd, be, it'd be rudimentary be that guy it'd be rudimentary mess but... around and futz around with certain things to listen who knows if eugene was there if he would to step was to step up right, you know yeah. what i'm saying they could make they could make an ointment they could make some kind of concoction. That's all I'm saying. So it would just be very right. interesting and maybe get away from the human people that are trying to take everything over and maybe just have some yeah, kind right. of peace and have the walkers, we've been talking about this, have the walkers be the forefront enemy and let them uh, fortify their buildings, but in the same time do the things that we're speaking about. Try to come up with um, – uh, cures and things like that. I just yeah. think that would be, it would be a, a different perspective of how the show has been for the last six, seven seasons, and it would maybe bring a spark uh, to the to the to the series to the show. Yeah. All right. So, the what's last the third, thing, what's the third thing? The last got? thing I wanted to talk about is an interesting concept. Are the people that are born into this new world immune to zombie bites? So, I will say my answer is no. I don't think that they are. Yeah. What's your answer, real quick? Yes I don't or think no? I don't think either. You don't think so either, I don't, right? I don't think so, so either. So, but but now here's my now again. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. I didn't go to medical school. But here's my here's my thoughts on it. Yeah. So you know you want to say oh you know let, let's talk about like you have Judith, you've got Gracie, and you got and you got little Glenn Jr. who isn't even born yet, right? They were born into this. Obviously, they're gonna have the um the zombie you know the, the virus in them because because you know. That's just you know, how it is. And right. we don't know anything I mean, about but, but, it. You but, know, we don't know how it... I mean, you would assume, right? Because it's it's, it's got to be an airborne thing. What if they didn't, though? Oh, I just thought of this. I don't want to get onto this tangent <laughs> just yet because I want to finish the other thought. But what if they didn't? Let's get to that in one second. But So going along with this thing. So they're born. They have the, they have the virus in them. But they don't have the antibodies... You know, obviously, there's nothing to keep them immune from the zombie bite because it's 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 kind of like saying somebody now is born with the with immunity to the flu or chicken pox. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then my other thought was, what if somebody, you know, what if what if the mother of a child was healed, or was something, healed, right? was cured through mm-hmm. some mm-hmm. alchemy, like Mike says, that that saved her from a zombie bite. Now yeah. she has these antibodies. Now it's very interesting stuff, man. <laughs> right? Do they do? I mean, now would those antibodies transfer to the child? They would. I mean, technically, like, they would. We're not doctors, so who knows, <laughs> right? But I mean, as far as as far as I know of human anatomy, like they, you yeah. know, that w- that would be passed. You know what I mean? I mean, but I mean, that's not a genetic thing. I think it would take generations upon generations to get mm-hmm. immune to that bite. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Um, and then you have to, and then you have to think about: is the strain of that of that disease in the zombie's mouth is it the same strain? Yeah. Is it evolving itself? So say you get cured by, by you know, the zombie that came from this town, but now there's a, you know, now you move to another place and there's zombies there and, you, and is that the same bite as another as another yeah. bite? So, well, I mean, it's a possibility. Who knows? We, we never got into this. That's why this is so interesting. Now, g- getting to what you're saying is there could be different strains of this, of this infectious bite. Who knows if it's different from if you just turned – Two seconds ago, and you bite somebody. If that bite is different from a walker right, that's uh, yeah. going around for three Two years. years, yeah, you know? um, yeah, no, it's it's very does it grow right. Does yeah, it grow in strength? It's like, cool. Yeah. I mean, listen, we know in 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 the real world with vaccinations and things like that. Even though you as a parent had um, the measles vaccinations and all these kind of things, you still have to give them to your child. You still right, have to yeah, vaccinate right, your right, child. Right, yeah. So even though. To getting to that point of if I was cured, if I had been bitten and I got some kind of um, cure, I don't necessarily think that that would my child would be born with an immunity to that because I was healed. Right. That child still needs some kind of vaccination. Yeah, yeah. Could, could they come up with a vaccine to the bite? 
you know, so that if you do get bite, you don't need to yeah, sever yeah. your arm. Or if you do get bite, bit like Carl, you don't need um, – you could just get this vaccination. Right. And now when a child is born into this world, they, they can get this vaccine. And if they are bitten, it you know, it could cure. It could help them. Yeah. I mean, it's just interesting stuff. But the, the, the common denominator is, is that there's nobody that we know of that's doing this. Right. There's nobody that's – And there's no power to, to power any things that – but I mean, look, not for nothing. Yeah, they've been doing this. They've been uh, alchemy, like you said. That's mm -hmm. it was alchemy. It's still alchemy. It's just we use machines now. Yeah. So it's not like, the, you know, the knowledge is still there. All the books are still there, unless someone burned them. Or, but there's wow. there's knowledge everywhere. Like people can find. That's a quest, man. Like you go on the quest to find yeah. the knowledge about these things and how to make the. So, you know, I I absolutely think that that would be. I would love to see, even if it's a short thing, even if it's a short little series mm -hmm. or web mm -hmm. series even, I'd love to see that type of situation in this universe. Uh, um, I, would love, I would love to see it too. It, it, just, yeah. it looks like, it's, it's just like how the importance of people now in this world. Who are the most important people that you would love to have on your side? I mean, we would love to have somebody that knows how to, like an engineer, people that know how to build things. Look what, look, <laughs> it's look like at, Maniac Mansion. Who are you going right, to choose to take right? on the look mission? At, look, at, uh, look at Alexandria. You know, they built the walls. The engineers built the walls and things. A, a pilot, someone that could fly a plane, you know, would be a super important person, but really that number one is like, like a doctor. So if there is a chemist, if there are doctors, those are the people you want on your side. And those are the people that could go out on these missions or send people out on these missions to go to the museums, to go to the libraries, to go to wherever, to go to a university library, yep. a medical library yep. and to get these, these books and to, to get this, this information right. that can be used to, to make a cure to, I would love to, to see that. I'd right? love to see it. I would it, love man. to see it I'd too. Love to see it would be it. a breath think, of fresh air. I think. Absolutely. I think I why isn't the dude, there's so much downtime yeah. in these people's lives. Okay. Between being attacked man. and fighting other humans. Like you're not thinking about this. Like, you know what I mean? Like you're, I, I think about That's stuff right. like this and I'm not even right. in that situation. <laughs> I'm delivering mail being like, Oh, Hey, right. you know, he's like, you just think of things. Like you tell me nobody yeah. thinks of these things. Anyway, it's, like, it's, it's that caste system. You have the people that, you know, can go out and be your soldiers. You have, you know, right. I guess the people yeah. like Eugene that he, he is smart and he's the one, he's not the fighter, you know? So it's just, uh, it's just an interesting thing and it's a fun video to do. And I'm glad we got a lot of comments about this and, like I said, uh, it, it's just a breath of fresh air that we actually got something. And by watching this mid-season premiere, just th those just few words that Sadiq said that just sparked this. And I'm glad that we got this video to you guys. Yep. And just let us know what you think in the comments, of course, in the in the comment section below on YouTube, uh, watching this video. But check us out on all our social medias. We got them all over there. They're up on the top of the screen, I think. Where would they be? We just had it, yeah. Somewhere. Um, so, yeah, check us out on the Facebooks, on the Instagrams. And, of course, check us out on iTunes. And thanks for everybody for writing in and giving us kind of these ideas to put a video like this out. Yep, definitely fun. So, nothing else to say. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Peace out. Peace.